Hey everybody. Well, I wanted to tell you about something funny that uh, I heard on the news the other day. Uh, apparently this guy from Oklahoma City, his name was Mark Anthony Richardson. He was 21 years old. Um, put an ad out on where else? But Craigslist. And uh, pretended to be the father of an autistic son and wanted somebody to babysit his son. But bear in mind, it's him doing this whole thing himself. Uh, he said that the son was 21 years old, which was him, and that he was autistic and couldn't talk and was still in diapers and still drank baby formula people responded to this and there were several people that uh, babysat with him but this one uh, girl in particular said that he showed up she uh, answered the ad and uh, of course this guy uh, Mark Anthony Richardson talked to her on the phone and said I am his father and uh, she said that he showed up at 2 in the morning just the autistic son now showed up at 2 in the morning on her front doorstep uh, wearing a soiled diaper, dirty clothes, and had a, a, a thing around his neck containing $40 and said he kept saying 4121, 4121, 4121, which that was uh, the number of his street address. So she took him in and uh, she changed him, cleaned him up, and uh, she said he wouldn't lay still when she changed his diaper. That when she took his diaper off, that he would get up and run around the house, and she'd have to chase him. And uh, she gave him a she made him a bottle of formula and a baby bottle, and said he drank it with a straight face. He drank it, and then uh, she made him a bottle of Kool Aid, and he drank that too. But she said he wouldn't lay still when she laid him down to read him a bedtime story, and. Um, as it turns out, it was the guy that was on the phone doing this the whole time, and that's the way he got his jollies. There was nothing wrong with him. How sick and perverted is that? And But I would imagine, though, that he was having a hard time meeting women because he was only four foot nine. So <laughs> that's a little bizarre. Anyway, so how is the weather in your neck of the woods. It's been real, real cold here. Not as cold as it is uh, in Bluefield where some of my family's at though, where I was raised at. It's not nearly as cold as it is out there. Nonetheless, cold enough. And tonight we're supposed to have uh, uh, snow showers late tonight. Uh, tomorrow it's going to be a wintry mix and tomorrow night it's going to be rain. So three weather patterns basically in one day. I know it's been real, real cold when I go out to work in the morning, but it's been like uh, 17 degrees, 15 degrees. I think it was 13 this morning. But as long as the wind wasn't blowing, and the wind didn't blow out here like it was supposed to because they kept saying it was going to be windy. I don't think it ever really got real windy. It was real, real calm this morning, and it actually didn't feel that cold outside when I went to work, but I know it was real, real cold outside because my water was froze up this morning. And I left it dripping last night, but it was froze this morning. But anyway. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's basically all I had to say. I had to tell you a story about that guy. It's just crazy. I mean, what goes through people's minds? Oh, his, uh, his mother said something other about uh, he needs to be evaluated that he's always acted strange. He's just perverted. Just perverted. Because in order, he's not crazy, because in order to do something like that, to get your jollies, so to speak, he had to think long and hard about that. And he came up with that. I would that I would have never thought of doing something like that. Never. So... He uh, ended up, I think the way they found him out, he the 18-year-old that was babysitting him, 
uh, he grabbed her breast. And her mother said, you know, pay him no attention because he don't know what he's doing. So she decided to take over babysitting for him. And I guess soon after she decided to take over, she found out that uh, when he got an erection, when she changed his diaper, that there was something wrong. So he's in jail now. <laughs> What's wrong with people? I just don't understand. Oh, well. Anyway, that's about all I want to talk about now. I'm, me and Joe are going to do a video probably Friday morning and talk about Christmas past and such and uh, show a few. I'm going to show a gift that I got one year that he got me one year and he's going to show a gift that he's had since he was, I think, four years old. So that's going to be interesting. Anyway, until next time, bye-bye.